Everton defender Oden Samuel Schmidt has signed his first professional contract, a contract with the football club. Uh, Manchester City had apparently been interested in taking him there, but he has committed his short-term future to Everton, i.e. a two-year contract. Uh, he can play anywhere across the back lines, play right-back, left-back and centre-back. Uh, Oden's brother Ishi. Samuel Smith left for Chelsea last year, remember, um, but he has committed his future to Everton Football Club, so good luck to him. Uh, Everton today have been linked with a loan move for AS Roma midfielder Eduardo Bove. He's been linked with us before. He has played 65 times in Serie A and scored two goals. Um, Everton have been linked with a loan, like I say, with an option to buy. It seems as though Everton are looking... For a lone player in that central area, Sean Dyche said yesterday in his pre-match press conference that Everton are a bit stretched in there with obviously Amadou Onana leaving and Andre Gomez leaving and only bringing in Tim Irabunum. Everton have been looking at players like Calvin Phillips, but that was too expensive. Also, Jens Kajust, uh, but Everton couldn't loan him from Napoli because they've already got Jesper Lindstrom. And it looks like he has gone off to Ipswich now, Caduce, because uh, they can take him on loan. So Evan have turned their attention, it seems, to 22-year-old Bova. And Sean Dyche confirmed that Delhi will enter into a games programme before Everton decide whether or not to give him a contract. The player has been rehabilitating the Finch Farm all summer. He is training with the first team, the manager confirmed yesterday. But he did say that he would have to play in games because that's the only way to get true fitness. And uh, they want to assess Delhi that way. He said he seems to be good in himself, physically good. So it's about seeing him in action now in behind closed door games. Delhi, unfortunately, can't play in the 21s because he's not registered as an Everton player. So it's going to have to be in behind closed door matches before uh, Everton decide whether or not to give him a contract. And finally, Everton have uh, confirmed today that Christopher Ward will become their new sleeve sponsor. They replaced Kick. They have taken up the option of sleeve sponsor for the year, the final year at Goodison Park. They've been sponsors at the club since their 2022, and they will continue to sponsor the back of the women's shirt as well. So Everton confirming Christopher Ward is the new sleeve sponsor for the 24-25 Premier League season. That's it from us. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, do all that good stuff, and enjoy the opening game of the season, Everton, against Brighton and Hove Albion. We'll be back on Monday with all the post stuff. We'll be back after the match with all the post-match stuff, so check that out, and we'll be back with the final word and everything else that goes with it on Monday. See you later.